Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is Clarity Empress, the Empress of Clarity, here to do a collective energy read <clears throat> for my Clarity Empress Collective. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if the reading resonates with you. All right, so many of you know if you came on my live, I don't expect all of you to know that we just hit a year anniversary on the channel. So we're going to do 30 days straight. Let's see. <laughs> I pray I can make 30 days straight. Ooh. Cheer me on, cheer me on, cheer me on. <laughs> so I want to pump these readings out for you. Let you know what's going on with your person. What's going on with your finances. What kind of goals you got coming up. Uh, right now we're going to do confessions from your person. What would they like to say to you? Um... You know, what do they have to tell you? And what, you know, what does that mean? They can say one thing, but what does it mean, right? So please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Comment in the comment section. Let me know if this reading resonates with you. If it doesn't, that's cool. Every reading will not resonate with you because everything is not always going to be your story, right? So, you know, take it how it resonates. And if it doesn't resonate, don't take it. Matter of fact, leave it for somebody else or share it with somebody you think it resonates with. All right. Make sure you like. Like helps. Liking. Thumbs up the video definitely helps the algorithms. Let you know the next time that I come on. All right, Spirit, give me a message from my collective's person. Who does Sally or Michael want to say to my collective? That's my made up name, y'all. Don't pay me no mind. It's not a real Sally or Michael. What do they want to say to my collective? Uh-oh. It says, my karmic keeps asking about you because they know where I want to be and it's not with the karmic. This came out upside down. Either the karmic doesn't really know or they think they hid it from the karmic well. I don't know. But we're going to keep on clarifying. Tell me more, Spirit. What does this person want to say to my collective? I know I have to apologize. I need your forgiveness. Tell me more. What do they want to say to my collective? I miss you. Do you still love me? Do you miss me too? This person wants to know if you even care. Many of you are nonchalant or unbothered right now. Just moving about, doing, doing you. You know, in your own world, not worried about this person anymore. Maybe they worried you in the past with this karmic they, they got going on. And the fact that they know they need him to apologize to you says a whole lot. So, you just probably like over it. You know what I mean? Tell me more. I'm suffering the consequences of my actions against you. I deserve it all. So, this person knows that they owe you an apology and they deserve for themselves to feel the way they do um they're suffering consequences because if they went against you you know spirit could be making them pay for that they could be getting instant karma for whatever that they're doing tell me more sometimes i'm confused because i don't know how to make this right between us yeah well the first thing they need to do is apologize how to make it right that's something else i don't know bottom of the deck I keep tabs on you by any means possible. Social media, friends, tarot, dreams, magic, family, work, you name it, I watch you. <clears throat> so your person is a stalker, and by any means necessary, they watch you. Excuse me, y'all. So your person is like, they hot on your tail. They're in your energy. They're not letting you go. They don't want to see anybody else, but <clears throat> they don't want to deal with anybody else. They might not be dealing with the karmic. This is probably why the karmic card is uh, in reverse in the past energy, because they're saying my karma keeps asking about you. They might not be asking about you no more because the person don't want to deal with them. They probably already told them. I don't know what's the point. What's the point of you asking about them? I don't want to beat you anyway. Or you don't want to be with me, so whatever. And they know you that. They know, I feel like they know, <clears throat> even though this person might have tried to conceal some things, I think they know that your person don't want to deal with them at all. All right, Spirit, give me 
clarify that part for me? Fast energy. Yeah, okay. So it says frustrated in relationship. <laughs> uh, lack of <laughs> lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego issues, and jealousy. The two of them, the karmic and your person, they argue like cats and dogs. They're jealous of each other. They're really nasty toward each other. The way they speak to one another is very vile. I don't feel like this person would ever speak to you like that. Honestly, I feel like this karmic, they reserve all their vitriol for this karmic. They are very nasty toward that person. And they're frustrated in that relationship. Because I feel like, you know, frustration usually comes from lack. So this says lack of confidence, but it also comes from lack of other things. Lack of happiness, lack, lack of hope, lack of finances. Lack of love, all of those things mixed up can, can can create a huge ball of frustration. And it's just not enough. Like nothing about this relationship with that karmic is enough. But you know, this person sabotaged the connection with you for this karmic at some point. So they may have some ego issues or some control issues. When it comes to you too, because maybe they had you and the karmic at the same time, and that's not happening anymore. Tell me more, Strip. Keys on a ring. Yeah, it says how many options? No, I'm sorry, many options. Decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. So this person, this is how they treated you, or this is how they're being treated by this karmic. So, and this is what they know they have to apologize to you. They, this person kept you as a third party. They kept you um, definitely as an option, maybe even in competition with this karmic energy, feeling like, you know, well, if they if they didn't need you, they go to the karmic. If the karmic wasn't given to them, they come back to you. So this person was going back and forth with you and their karmic. Tell me more about, do I, I mean, excuse me, do you still love me? Do you miss me and all that? Tell me more about that. Yes, says, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, makes making new memories. So this person, oh, this person, y'all person is really sad and missing you. So, you know, this is why they stalk you because they get to see your pictures. They get to see what you're doing. They get to look back at old stuff. Um, if they have any on their phone or screenshots or you know, anything buried in their phone, probably in hidden messages. I mean, hidden hidden pictures. This person has pictures of you. And they look at that every chance they can whenever they feel like a strong urge to look at you. This is why it's I miss you and then looking at your photos and missing you. This person is like you are something they think about morning, noon, and night. They stalk you and they miss you. So this person does not get you off their brain much at all tell me more spirit yep it says i'm i'm suffering the consequences of my actions against you i deserve it all this also is clarified with girl with the snake empath and narcissist paradigm being charmed to use enabled and boundaries this person when they had you in competition with that um karmic <clears throat> and they made you an option they were using you. You know, like I said, you served the purpose. And when you didn't serve that purpose, the karmic served their purpose. When the karmic didn't serve the purpose, it came back to you. And God knows who else. They had keys. They had options. This person is always looking at their options. I feel like this person is always in survival mode. So they just kind of think, well, whoever's going to get me what I want, that's what I'm going to go for. They either may be... Uh, a narcissist or they may have narcissistic tendencies due to being in survival mode but this is giving your homosexual somebody who um, has sex for a place to stay um, gigolo Jezebel kind of energy somebody who you know is a seductress or somebody who seduces for the things that they want money goods cars whatever for status chase this person is a, cl a clout chaser too 
So they'll use whomever for whatever. This person has a huge ego and it, it, it requires an evil death. Tell me more, Spirit. You know, ego death doesn't mean you don't have an ego. But ego death means you don't let your ego rule you anymore. Like you come to some humility about yourself that you can be confident yet respectful. I won't even want to say humble. Respectful. I don't think this person is there yet, but we'll see. Tell me more, Spirit. Yeah, so this person says, I like you. Someone like you, no, I'm sorry, someone likes you, romance is blooming, F fun, flirting, want to date. Says, sometimes I'm confused because I don't know how to make this right between us. This person's thinking, you know what, I, I need to slow this down. I need to take this person out on dates. I need to court this person. I need to prove myself to this person. I really like you. So not only do they care about you, but they like you. And they share likes with you is what I'm hearing. So... <clears throat> This person wants to go do some of the things that you guys used to do. That's that's what's in their mind, in their memory. They want to go hang out. They want to talk. They want to eat. They want to connect in ways that they um, are used to doing with you. Bottom of the deck, self-indulgence. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So while you over there, wherever you are, unbothered, right? They consider you being self-indulgent. This is what they're watching you doing. That's what they're keeping tabs on. They see you focus on yourself. You healing right now. You, you did your shadow work. You appreciate yourself. This person is not there yet. They got to work on themselves because they're coming from a, a, a point of lack. Excuse me. This person feels lack. <clears throat> They feel like, you know, this person runs from connections. This person self sabotages their connections. You know what I mean? They This is the kind of person that just, they might have been brought up with no self-esteem. You know what I mean? Like never <clears throat> encouraged enough to where they had a healthy dose of self-esteem. This person could be selfish uh, due to, like I said, their uh, abandonment, not, nah, well, I didn't mean to say that, abandonment issues, or they're, they may have abandonment issues, and thriving, they're trying to thrive, but they're really in survival mode, so they really don't care when they do these things, I think they don't think things through when they're using people, or they see these people as options, because this might be something they've always done, and no one's checked them on it, or maybe you have when you pulled your energy back, that was a check checkpoint, you know, like, all right, <laughs> let me go heal from whatever you put me through and you go do you. And this person is like, wait a minute, what you mean you need to heal from me? <clears throat> Why are you working on yourself? Why aren't you working on this? But this person is selfish. They use people and they cause you to put up boundaries. This person has a lot of healing that they need to do. They understand that there's consequences for their action. But I got a feeling that this is somebody that's like, because they don't, don't know how to fix this, this is the type of person who wants to say sorry and think, okay, well, I said sorry, so that means we go back to what we used to do, right? And I feel like with you over here, self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, and healing, you got self-appreciation, there's no way you going back to potentially being somebody's option. Okay. Hmm. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me about not enough. What does Tarot say about that? Whoa. Well, your person feels very guilty. Um. <laughs> first of all, they feel guilty for choosing this karmic. That person got them stressed out. That arguing, that bickering, that fighting. And your person feels stuck with their choices because they don't have access to you. Right? So they know they don't feel enough. They're stuck on their choices. They are just completely stressed out uh, mentally uh, and emotionally. Maybe even financially or physically. But they are really... At their breaking point, 
when it comes to this karmic. That's why it's in the previous energy. Like they they ready to tap out on this karmic. Um they feel bad because they've made you an option and you're not an option because your self-worth is high. So you know that you're not someone's option. And they didn't know that you weren't their option. Yeah, letting go. So they want to let go of the people around them or the karmic. Meanwhile, you've already let them go. So this person is ready to walk away and walk towards you, but they are in the process currently of moving on. They're moving on from where they are. Yep. In silence. I'm telling you, this person, okay, this is star energy too. This person, let me look, let me show you letting go first. This is what this person, they're purging. They may be crying, but they are letting something go. Um, when this person, I feel like this person gets in her hermit mode a lot. And they get quiet. All right. Uh, this is star energy, Aquarius energy. Uh, this is the first major arcana on the board. This person sits in solitude. They get on their phone, whatever they have your picture in or on, and they just sit there and they look at it, and they think about it, and they probably smile because of the good times that they had with you. They're in nostalgic energy, definitely. Missing you, missing, miss you, and silence. So they're also not showing people, at least they think they aren't showing people that how badly they miss you, or maybe they're trying, I don't know. Something is changing. There, you know, I feel like the fact that they they know they've been in a narcissistic mode with you and that they feel like they deserve the consequences of their actions, that is going to bring about a change with this person. All right? This is the Wheel of Fortune. That means the winds are changing. Their mind is changing. Um, there's in, they're ending some behaviors. So 10 means end. So they're ending their certain behaviors or they're going through that process. This person is going through more like a metamorphosis or an ego death, death, you know, a transition. They are shifting their perspective. They're shifting their energy. They're shifting how they spend their time. Yeah. Come on. Oh. Yeah, moment to moment. Yeah, and <laughs> I heard this earlier, but this person is treading very carefully with how they approach you. Um, I don't think that this person is, I feel like they're coming towards you, but they they want to do, this is why they watch you, because they're trying to be methodical. They're trying to be, not necessarily methodical, strategic, that's the best word. Schizophrenic. They don't know if you want to take them back. Honestly, they're a little bit all in their head about, will you take them back? Um, do you want them anymore? Um, if they say this, will you say that? If they say this, will you do that? This, that, or, or the third, right? So this person is like, they don't want to chase you away. So they're trying to tread towards you, you know, very slowly and cautiously because they don't really want to scare you. It's almost like, <laughs> oh, why did I got this? But you know how, like, uh, the nature dudes be approaching, like, big cats in the wild. And they keep their distance and they use their long-range cameras and they take pictures of them. And they're, and they're really, you know, gentle and quiet and respectful of the space that the big cat is in. You know, lion, tiger, you know, whatever it is, right? Um, however, this photographer wants to get closer, um, to the big cat. They want to know more about the big cat. They, they want to commune with the cats, right? You know, there's some of them people that are animal handlers. They, next thing you know, you see them interacting with the cats or whatever. They, they had to build a relationship. And I feel like with I like you, this is talking about dating. 
and this person saying i'm unsure how to fix this they want to take their time they want to build this slow they don't want to rush it so they're trying to slow down now i, I don't know how slow you can go because this person is already in snail's pace if they are coming towards you it almost looks like they're not moving because they're not in your the, your physical space yet. They're not talking to you yet. They just contemplating, okay, I got to move like this. I got to try like this. They may have to be navigating a lot of nonsense with the person that they're arguing with too. So it's almost like, how do I fix this? And I still got that going on. You can't. They know they got to end this situation, but they don't know how to end that before coming to you. So this person is in a little bit of a conundrum. Because where do I go from here? Especially if they live with that person. How, you know, where do I go? Where do I move temporarily? You know, I really want to go to the collective. Look at this moment to, to moment. They trying to get towards you. Uh, I want to build something with the collective. But I can't do it if with this jealous karmic in my energy. And I'm going to tell you right now. This karmic came to fight maybe even fight you but they really are fighting this person who is doing their best to let them go um but the karmic don't want them with you you know even if they don't want them they don't want them with you all right tell me more about guilt spirit why is this person guilty tell me more about the guilt there's too many but, but we gonna take it fuck it Okay, so just, yes, <laughs> I can't make it up. This person is moving at a turtle's place. I said snail, turtle, whatever. Move so slow, it almost looks like it ain't moving. That's how this person has been moving with you. But they're determined to end this, this situation. But they're really bogged down by that because you also have suppression here. This is Ten of Wands energy. They need to release this uh, burden they have with this person. They need to uh discharge them you know what i mean they are they married they need a divorce they need to let this go before they can come towards you this person is the, the the arguments that they having with this person is stressing this person out your person out um now i'm gonna say this because a lot of y'all when you come to these readings right know that these could be multiple scenarios these can this can be work uh this could be um family dynamics uh you could have cultural differences with someone like you know somebody could be of a different race and their family is, is like holding back i just watched a movie called elementals and that's the vibe it gave me if you ever seen it it's on i think hulu and it's about the four elements you got air earth fire and water and <clears throat> it was something very racist about the movie so you know um this person may feel like their family's uh lineage would clash with your family lineage right so that could be holding them back it could not it don't have to be karmic in that it's another person. It could be the way they're raised, their parents. I don't agree with that relationship or, you know, they don't celebrate our traditions or they don't, you know, they don't move like us. They don't look like us, that kind of thing. So take it how it resonates, but it doesn't have to be that. This person is expected to compromise within this family structure. They're, they're expected to give to them and they don't want them to give to you. They might have a whole nother person that they feel your person should be with. And that could be him and your person up. And they don't know how to fix this thing. How do I keep my family and go to who I want to be with? You know, um, there's a couple on TikTok. The woman is Indian and her husband is black. And I think they have about eight kids. I follow them. I don't know if I follow them anymore. I've been unfollowing people, y'all. But I followed them. I don't remember what the name what the name of the family is, but is 
it to me is beautiful because you know she had this relationship with her husband you know prior to getting married with him i think it was a little off and on initially but then she embraced the relationship and her parent i think her father may have disowned her in some way or just does not agree so she went ahead and she got married to her her husband and she and they as far as i know at least to the to the to the TikTok world, they're happily married with their eight kids and they're doing fine. Would she like to have a relationship with her family? I, absolutely, I'm sure she would have. But if there, if your family makes you choose between you and your happiness or them and your happiness, you really got to think about like, again, who you incarnated here to do what? What did you come to learn, right? Did you come to learn that you were going to be stuck in a toxic situation with somebody because they want you toxic because they're toxic or they want you to be unhappy because they're unhappy or they want you to be doing exactly what they want you to do and they may be holding money over your head. You know, some sometimes it's like that culturally it's like family could be rich, but if you marry outside your culture, you don't get an inheritance. That's kind of how element, uh, Elementals was. And it's on Disney Plus, by the way, not Hulu. But ultimately, you want to pursue your happiness. That is why you incarnated into this kiss, was to learn the lessons about how to be happy here, how to enjoy this life, because you don't want to do this again in another lifetime, and it'd be worse, right? It'd be harder. You, you go through harder lessons you, trust me if it's hard now you don't want to you don't want to come through again and go through this all over again tell me more about letting go keys on the ring yeah okay so now your person is feeling more confident about walking away um but it may be hard for them to walk away if they have entanglements but this this um King of Coins abundance is giving me that somebody is confident that they have they may have already moved on at least they've moved on in their mind I feel like that's exactly what they have physically they may be there but they've moved on and you know how they say people move on sometimes with their mind before their body goes I feel like that's the stage your friend your friend your friend or your a person might be in right now tell me what's there Ooh. They are building up their courage, y'all. This person is building courage and strength to get it from the mud. Like, if they got to leave the inheritance behind, the stability behind, this is what they're working on. They're like, you know what? I think I can do this. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I know I got to do it. That's the courage. Tell me more, spirit. Tell me about the girl with the snake and what's changing. Change. Woo! Somebody is like, they, they are ignoring outside sources. Anybody that's speaking negative about what they want in life, they're tuning them out. They're turning inward. They're in, I feel like they're in hermit mode because they are Searching within for answers. Where do I go from here? What's my next step? What do I see myself doing in one, two, three, four, five years? Um, these people around me are not helpful. As you could tell, they like ghosts in this person's ears. They like say sweet, nasty nothings, okay? Nothings. Nothings that would amount to anything. And this person is saying, nope, you will not... You will not rob me of my uh, love or my inheritance or whatever it is that, that I'm focused on. This person is focused on their opportunities and making good with them. Whoop. Well, that was. And who they want to walk toward is the Empress. Creativity. They know that whomever this Empress energy is. That if they brought them 
something. And I feel like the something is their time, their effort, finances, help, whatever. Whatever they bring this empress, she will magnify it. She will multiply it. She will bring it to light. This is this is somebody they hold in high regard. This person um, may be a mother, but he may not be. But this is somebody they they see in high honor, high regards, special to them on a pedestal. This is where they're trying to get to. And they've been trying to slow this connection down. I, I don't know how, but, you know, you take out residence, but they've been trying to get you to not go away and leave them behind. But they got to get past this self-victimization self with the schizophrenia. And bottom of the deck, yeah, this is where they need to be. This is the energy that they need to be in. They need to make, take action. They need to uh, put their best foot forward. They need to come towards you correctly or they need to make a move. Um, yeah, get out of their head and put their energy like their solar plexus is that energy of i do right um i believe it's also i am it might be i am or i am what i do i don't know all i know is it is time for them to take a step forward it's it's time for them to take action um they just need to get clarity on what that action is going to be <clears throat> excuse me so i have my heater off and on y'all because <clears throat> my office gets cold. <clears throat> but I hate uh, having it on too long. All right, so. Hmm. So, you know, this is actually good energy. Um, I feel like this is a cultural difference kind of situation. Not necessarily somebody that mm, did you so horribly. Um, but you know, it, they were selfish minded girl with a snake. So they may have had, um, some things that, you know, still egregious enough that you didn't want to be with this person. But I'm really getting, um, cultural differences with this. So, um, and I feel like elemental is what is, just keeps popping up because it was really like fire seemed to be a lower class. And water seemed to be upper class. I'm not really sure where they put um, uh, earth or air. Um, but that's definitely a different class when it came to fire and water. Air was very um, passionate people, interestingly enough. I mean, fire too, but air was like, mm, I don't know. <clears throat> And water was very emotional. Very emotional. Tell me more spirit. Just like the cups. Just like in, in tarot. A deep breath. Ooh, wee. Ooh, somebody is like, listen. <laughs> I had chilled down my legs just now. Somebody is really like in deep contemplation meditation when they think of the peace and the serenity of who you are to them in their life this person like you are their peace right really they need to work on being their peace for themselves and they may be doing it but when they are with you they feel a certain sense of peace that is not common for them, you know, it's not, it doesn't exist in their family structure or whatever, whatever home they live in. It doesn't exist there. Their peace <clears throat> is in the environment that they, they create, the home that they create for themselves. This is like, you know, going from your family, your bloodline to your soul tribe and then finding peace that you didn't know that didn't exist with your family structure, your DNA. You know what I mean? What's this man? Smoke and mirrors. And that's in reverse. Oh. So I feel like their family was very duplicitous in the way they handled this person. They probably was trying to trick them. Um, I don't feel like they may have been trying to trick you. I feel like this person was tricked. 
Um, I think, because I was saying earlier, I feel like they might have wanted this person to compromise and maybe even be in an arranged marriage type of situation. And this person is rejecting that. So the smoke and mirrors is like, oh, no, this is good for you. You should do this. This is what we plan for you all your life. This is great. And then it's like, well, wait a minute. Um, I don't get to pick who I love. I don't get to be with whom I love. I got to be only with this kind of group and this kind of people. What if it doesn't work for me? And they're like, no, 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 it'll work. It'll work. So they would delude your friend, your friend. I keep saying friends. Maybe this is a friend connection, but they would delude this person into believing that their decisions were the best decisions. And it was smoke and mirrors because they really don't know. This, this family structure probably don't even know how love actually works. They just have done whatever traditions have dictated for them to do, okay? Let me one more in the bottom of the deck, Spirit. They're taking a deep breath. This person's intuition is clearer and clearer. Oh, one at a time. Nope, too many. I see uncharted sea. So this is a path unknown to your person, Okay. They've never been here before. They've never felt, look at the, with the, with the, they've just never been here before. Where they're navigating to, the emotions, uh, they've never been here before. That's all I keep hearing is, I've never done this. I've never felt this before. I've never been here before. This is definitely uncharted sea, uncharted waters. And then we got close encounters. I will say I feel like this person may have sabotaged the connection when you got close with them. When you got close, they freaked out. This became a runner. This is somebody like, oh, this, oh, I don't know what this feeling is. It's uncharted waters. Uh, I don't know. And they would probably create arguments to slow the connection down. But the roses kiss. Maybe some point in time you hugged and kissed this person. You were intimate with this person in some way. And it's something about your kiss or something about your touch or something about just you as a person. Um, maybe your name is Rose. I don't know. But I feel like, um, or Lily, um, I just feel like you do it for this person in a way they didn't, they never experienced with anyone else. You do it for them that they are ready to cross um, family issues and solve it. Because they're like, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to do something. And you are a high value to them. And they are taking this moment to moment. So this person may be coming to you at a real turtle's pace or maybe a snail's pace. Um... Mm, I heard either be patient or move on. I feel like with schizophrenia, the creator and the self-indulgence, I think, though, you may have moved on. And you may not be waiting or, or you have lost patience with this person, which is kind of understandable. I mean, somebody trying to slow down a connection, not be uh, honest with you, you know, not fight for what they love, it could make you turn your your neck and or your body or your your energy away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, all right, cool. You do you, I'm gonna heal me because this was painful, just hurt or you know, whatever. Um, there was a bit of that in the movie too, which I thought was so freaking cool. The movie was really good. Elemental on Disney Plus. Um but you know, I feel like your person is actually going to show you at moment to moment how badly they want to uh, leave the karmic family situation, whatever that is, behind. That they value you. Um, and this is a relationship worth saving. Again, this is not everybody's story. I feel like it's a small amount of people. But this is about people with, I feel very strongly, this is something about cultural uh, biases and differences that play out in families and have people getting pulled in one direction when they really want to go another. And it's up to them to stand up for themselves 
and choose them. And by choosing them, they choose who they love and they pursue what they love and who and whom they love, right? So <clears throat> that's your reading, y'all. I feel like your person is going to choose themselves, meaning they're going to choose them and they're going to choose you. And you get, again, again, I got to say it. You may, some of y'all may have been like, yes, yeah, a little too uh, late, you know? And I can't say that I blame you. Uh, it is what it is. Like, people want to slow down connections because they want to hold on to you. But they got to figure some things out. Like, they can't sit in the um, energy of keeping you waiting and then not doing anything. Or not stepping up. Or not taking a chance in their life. They have to put in that effort and that action. And it can't always be you or you do it, or whatever, like, if you were the person that uh, connected, because it was a bit of that, too, in the meeting, and now, movie, I'm thinking, like, wow, um, somebody got to break that ice, I don't think it's you, collective, I feel like you being in this empress energy, them admiring you, and they coming toward you, means they finally are going to get the courage that they need, to stand in their power and to take the actions that's required. So good luck in this connection, y'all. If it works out, I hope so for you. I hope it makes you happy. I hope this person pours their heart out to you and their actions prove that they mean it. Um, take it how it resonates. If it don't resonate, that's cool. You know what? You don't have to. I appreciate you watching. Come to my channel. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, the algorithms work better when you thumbs up the video. So that lets you know uh, more when I come on. You know, it'll notify you. Um, again, Thursdays, I am on live. I do live readings. So if you want to test me out, a Thursday evening at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time would be the time to give it a test run. Um, you can donate and I will read a few cards for you. Um, if you would like a thorough reading, please go to my uh, email address, clarityandpresentgmail.com. And also, I do parties. I do live parties online, and I do live parties in person, depending on where you are. But you need to email me at clarityandpresentgmail.com to make those arrangements. Um, but yeah, so we can do some things, y'all. But thank you for coming to the channel. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.